I've been working on the rip. Oh, uh, oh, hi. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, Daniel, I'm here uh, actually at the uh, call Um I, I think uh, I've completed all of the regular skills on previous videos, except for this new skill, archaeology, because during the 2X experience weekend last weekend, uh, there were uh, uh, this uh, this new skill archaeology, uh, so they were not doing two X, uh, and uh, obviously the inventing skill is an elite skill. It re as it says here it requires eighty smithing, eighty crafting, eighty divination. Uh, so I won't be able to do that on a new account. Uh, so after I uh, get the quests, a lot of the quests done for you. Uh, some of the mini quests and some other guides. Uh, then I'll have to come back and do an inventing guide for you. But uh, some in game have asked me about archaeology and they had some difficulty uh, with the new skill and what do I do with it? How do I do it? Uh, I've already started this on another account uh, and um, I'm almost 99 already. Uh, you know, that's. Um, 99 is so skill mastery. All right, so I have a good handle on uh, doing that. I got uh, most of the achievements for archaeology done, and uh, any other, uh, any other account, uh, most of the achievements are done. So I'm gonna go ahead uh, and I'm gonna show you how to get started. Uh, and I'm gonna try to limit this video to an hour. Uh, I might go a little over, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, because there's a tutorial uh, I have to complete first. Uh, first. So here's the Varric portal, and I'm gonna go uh, east. So if, if we reset the camera so the north points, it'll be right on the screen. All right, so uh, past the edge of Iraq, past the mining area, and then keep going. All right, and then here on the mini map, you see this is the archaeology building. All right, so uh, when I got at, when I arrived at archaeology, it gives me a, a dotted path. I did this on my other account also. I did a dotted path to the Twitter. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and follow the uh, dash on my map. Uh, and the tutor is by the river. All right, so this is the archaeology tutor, tutor, acting guild master. So I'm going to uh, start the tutorial. Uh, archaeology guild. Uh, All right, so the sales pitch. Don't you want to dig up dirt? All right, so anyways. Uh, you know, so you can, uh, you might be able to see this in the video. You know, you can pause if you want to read it, or you, or you can come out to your account and read it yourself. Um, you know, I'm going gonna, uh, gonna to go ahead and uh, try to push through uh, quickly all of this. All right, so left click to add it to toolable. So I'm going to add it to toolable. That's the mat type. That's what you, I use to, uh, or anyone would use to do archaeology with. Uh, I was, uh, I was just questioning why. Uh, it looks like the pickaxe. Why can't we use that? We, uh, I'm guessing in archaeology, uh, if you. Uh, 
versus mining and mining will uh, you know, smash the rock and you'll get the piece. But in archaeology, there's artifacts that are more delicate, so I guess there's a special tool for that. So, uh, anyways, uh, so the uh, archaeology tutor po uh, points you to a nearby uh, Santisten soil. I right, see. So, so we click on the Santisten soil. All right, it says uh, uncovered excavation. All right. All right, so then now uh, it says centurion remains. So I'll click on that. Uh, I found some soil. All right, so this being uh, uh, maybe sarcastic humor uh, material. Keep in mind soil materials. All right, and then. Uh, soon we'll find the artifact. Uh, so keep in mind that's that's basically from uh, from the start all the way until uh, 99 and even until 120. Uh, you will you will be getting the soil uh, materials and artifacts uh, at some point with the inventing skill uh, and with achievements in uh, uh, in the archaeology guild as you as you advance uh, there's a possibility for uh, uh, blueprints for an auto screener uh, which will auto screen the soil for you but for now uh, we have to do that manually uh, all right so it says we found centurions dressed or damaged okay and uh, level up Left click on that. Uh, it says we need the, the workbench. Uh, we need uh, five iron, five wood, uh, and there's uh, one pl uh, place that wants it the museum training. All right, so keep in mind the screen because uh, there are multiple collections for each artifact uh, after this one. Uh, this is the training item so there's, uh, there's only one place that we needed uh, but uh, yet uh, all the other artifacts that will that you will be collecting you will have multiple places uh, so you'll need multiple copies of the artifact all right then i'll explain more when we get there but this one gives 250 experience and uh we don't get any chrome note value and chrome notes are you you used to by perks in the archaeology guild. I'll explain that uh, when we get to the next uh, spot in a little while. All right, so now uh, I don't think we need to collect. No, we don't need to collect anymore. So I'm going to go back and speak to the guild master. So I found some soil materials and an artifact. Uh, looks like we will need more materials before I can restore. Well, one way is to screen your soil. All right, so hand you some more soil. Head over to the screening station and screen that soil. All right, so the screening station is here. All right, so screen, mesh, screen, and uh, we are. So I'm screening 10 soil. That should be enough screening. What did you find? And again, I'm uh, uh, rushing past the dialogue. Uh, all right, so here is the tutor that we started. Here is the screening station. And then off in the distance here is, uh, is a workbench. Uh, there's also a model. Let's keep this in mind. Uh, uh, later, we'll use this occasionally. But we will be using the, the, the workbench and the plastic box more frequently. <clears throat> so here is the material storage. So you can store your materials. Uh, so deposit all. Uh, your mat materials will store here. 
uh, but not the artifacts. The artifacts stay uh, in your uh, backpack or in your bank. Uh, there's some additional spaces that you unlock as uh, as you progress in this build, but um, I'm already in a, uh, I'm just about 99 on, uh, on my other account, and I have all of the skills, all of the materials already, uh, and some of the space, so I don't believe you'll actually be using all of these spaces. I have every material that I need to get uh, to max out the skill, even 200 million experience, I have every material, so there's uh, there appear to, be, appear to be plenty of spaces already, so I uh, wouldn't uh, concern too much about that. Uh, the, so that's the deposit box uh, storage container for materials, so it doesn't take up your bank space. Uh, here is the workbench. Uh, so I will restore a Centurion's dress room. All right, and there's some other uh, stuff you'll find. Um, you'll find some of these other things, uh, random. Uh, where you can make, uh, you know, uh, I, I found these, uh, I've made one of them already. Uh, I've found, I think I've found pieces for some of these other things also. But, uh, for now, we're just concerned about making the dress alert, so I'm gonna restore that. All right, so, all right, so I better show this uh, to the tutor, which I'm going to do. Uh, so I'm let me just check here. Uh, that got me to five. So five, I can start the, the first, uh, the first spot in our card. All right. So we'll we'll do that in a moment. So let me go back to the tutor and complete the tutorial. Here's the very first artifact. So give that to the collector. All right, so uh, there's a tutor, there's a screener, okay, pass. Uh, the monolith pass, the uh, workbench, uh, and then over here in front of the archaeology build is the uh, collector. All right, so if you talk to Lucia, Lu Lu All right, so uh, this me a window. Uh, I can contribute a dress sort, so I will contribute that. All right, so they hand, they hand me a relic. Uh, and some dialogue. All right, and I have this relic, and I have a thousand comments. Uh, for right now, I'm going to right-click on uh, the opponent, oh, okay, wait a minute, uh, use, all right. Uh, all right, put that thought off for a little while. Uh, eventually, I'll be able to add that to uh, my currency pouch and have that uh, available there. But for right now, uh, uh, as it doesn't show me that option, I'm guessing I have to finish the tutorial first. So we'll check that in a moment. Uh, so I'm talking to the, the build, ma build master tutor art. All right, so it's asking me to put this in uh, to the monolith. So I'm going to put this into the monolith. Right, so there was a there's a, a a dialogue here. Uh, oh, you mean it didn't it, the the mouth didn't eat you? Wait, what? Huh? Ah! Okay, so uh, you know whatever. It's uh, part of the dialogue of the game. Uh, you know, uh, so I can I can harness the power of this of uh, uh, this one uh, relic that. Uh, so I'm gonna confirm that. Uh, Uh, and that, I, I guess, it just consumed the thousand components that I had. So that's, um, okay. 
Uh, anyways, so, I, so that's that's how it is. They, they, they give it to you and they take it back. Uh, so then they, uh, it asks you to go inside the archaeology building and talk to the guild master here. Uh, so here we go. Uh, so more dialogue. Uh, okay. Uh, so here, next uh, next to where the guild master will be standing now for the rest of this guild, uh, is there's a map. Uh, you can teleport to the different sites. Uh, I will show you the sites in a moment. Uh, this one uh, will sell Matox. So as you get to level 10, 20, 30, respectively, uh, you can get uh, Matox up to run. And then after run, uh, there, there's some other procedure. Um, so there's a there's crystal map talk you need access uh, to the Elf City. Uh, and then there's uh, some other higher. Uh, so Dwarven map uh, And then this, you combine the two at level 99. Uh, it's 99 map at the moment. Uh, so that, this shop here, uh, that's where you trade the bundles for other archaeology perks. Uh, you can buy the, the auto screener blueprint from her. Uh, or, or him. All right, anyways, from this one, you can buy the uh, auto screener and some other upgrades. Uh, I'll show you that in a moment. So, All right, so grab yourself a soil box uh, and then come back. All right, so shop. All right, so I'm going to claim the soil box. Confirm. All right, now the material manager, manager, uh, manual, I did not get that, but um, you know, I, uh, I guess I could. Uh, it's a temporary boost. Uh, the highest. High spec monocle is a temporary boost. The uh, this is a temporary boost. That's a temporary boost. Uh, and this is a temporary boost. So the rest of these are temporary boost in the intern level. So I didn't really get any of the temporary boosts. But um, uh, when I went up to a uh, system, I upgraded my toilet box, upgraded my material storage. So then five of the locked spaces became unlocked. And I got my Matak Precision update, uh, which I was able to get artifacts faster. Uh, at the associate level, uh, once you qualify for that, uh, there is an archaeologist outfit, uh, another upgrade, um, um, another material, you unlock five more spaces, uh, and a, um, another precision upgrade. And when I was telling you about the auto screener, uh, what you need an uh, venting for that. Uh, and then you need the associate level, and then you will no longer get soil. It will automatic uh, as long as that's the auto screener is active. You will no longer get soil, and then you'll be able to uh, just collect artifacts. Um, so there's a way to speed up archaeology as you go along. Uh, I'll show you that. Uh, and then professor, there is another soil box upgrade, which uh, once you get inventing started. Uh, and use the auto screener, then you won't really need the soil box anymore. Uh, that's how I'm able to get uh, my other account leveled so quickly. Uh, and then, of course, the material storage box that unlocks the last uh, the last five spots. So then you have all the spots upgraded. But I again, I don't use all the space in my box, and I have all the supplies. So uh, all right. So then, the, uh, then another precision upgrade and. Uh, guild master is at level 99. You get a, a master archaeology outfit. Uh, you get an energized meteorite shard, a math tech precision to create this. Um, meteorite shard is used to create level 99 uh, a matter. Uh, so, uh, that's, uh, but you also can get guild master at exactly at level 99. So, um, they make the they make what you need available exactly when you need it. So. So I, for right now, I'm just getting uh, the soil box. So back to here. 
Alright, so you can upgrade your soil back to as you advance through the qualifications. I showed you that. Uh, now you have nearly everything you need. Get out and uh, start excavating. Uh, the final thing is to give you this journal. So I have uh, a journal. This journal will be important. It has a teleport option, a teleport you here in front of the go. Uh, just for this one, just teleport in. Uh, good timing. Uh, and then uh, I can run into the gold, click on the map, and go to any of the, the, the excavation sites uh, and quickly start. So that's how I do it. Uh, you know, uh, if you find faster ways to the sites, go ahead. Uh, I'm showing you uh, in this video, I'm showing you one way. Uh, and I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. I um, hope that uh, at least it is a good guide to get started. All right, so, uh, so I've uh, gave me the first level intern. Uh, so it's asking me, uh, went ahead and teleported me to the first spot. All right, so th this is the al uh, spot. This is an archaeologist workbench and a material storage container. Uh, there's also a bank booth uh, there, but the camera is on auto mode, so I can't exactly show it to you. We found this area to be rich in silk, so here's a silk spot. But I'm, I'm going to show you a faster way to level. Uh, uh, you know, if you want to... Uh, if you want to use these, that's fine too. But, um, all right, so the, here's the first artifact spot. And then there's a, a fort to read that you can go deeper into the excavation. But you need level 10 to get that, so uh, we'll do that. Uh, all The Zerosian Empire's very existence was once the greatest of archaeological mysteries for us to uncover. And we achieved that here at Sintistan. And although the Empire was supposedly sprawling, it was so utterly destroyed that finding a near intact fort buried beneath the sands is cause for celebration. The monolith has a strong connection with something buried deep beneath this fort, however. Was the monolith itself Zerosian? No, surely not. It's beyond ancient. There is only one way to find out what the connection is. We must dig deep at Caridet and discover what lies beneath. All right, so that was the cutscene that plays. Uh, and now I have access in uh, to the interface. Uh, so here is the archaeologist workbench and the deposit container. Uh, there's also a, a bank chest here. All right, and what I did to speed things up, uh, I went ahead and bought materials uh, ahead of time. Uh, I looked ahead uh, on oh, what I did. Uh, and I had all of the materials that I need to get started. Uh, I had them already, so uh, I will go through this with you. I, I bought 1,000 Imperial Steel, 1,000 Tyrian Purple, 2,000 Third Age Iron, 2,000 Zorothian Signal, 1,000 Gold Rune, 1,000 Samite Silk. Uh, 1,000 uh, ancient viz and 2,000 white oak. Uh, keep in mind, I could go over here to where it says excavate silk, and I could just uh, you know, says I need 12. All right, so I can't even get the silk myself now. So, uh, but I, I wouldn't uh, that if I did it myself, I'd have to stand here for a while, fill up an inventory, and then then go over to the deposit box, uh, deposit the materials, go back, fill up, fill up somewhere, deposit the materials, go back, fill up somewhere, deposit the materials. You know, you get the idea. So, 
Right now, I just deposited all of the materials, uh, and uh, if you click on store, you can see all of my materials went in here. Uh, and then as I restore our artifacts, I right, saw so I wanted to restore an uh, and Gurge. All right, so I need uh, archaeology level 70, right? Uh, that's Hammerdellian. Let me switch to the Rosian because that's uh, the one we're doing first. So say I want to restore Venator Dagger. All right, so I need archaeology level 5. I have that. I need an archaeology workbench. That's where I'm standing now. I need 30 iron and Zerosian and Signal. I just deposited some. Uh, so it will automatically look at what's in my material storage container and it will pick from that. I do not have to have them in my inventory. It will pick from the storage container automatically. So that's why it's a good idea to have these here. Uh, and then the and then I need the dagger. Uh, the dagger I have to excavate, the damaged one, so I can restore it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. All right, so here I am. This is just like the tutorial. All right, so I can uncover ancient gravel. This is the first spot. All right, so I can get Ventanor Dagger and Ventanor Light Crossbow. Uh, all right, so this this right. Uh, let me just see here. Let me start. All right, so this right, this this light that's flying around. All right, so that light that's flying around, uh, it, uh, it will build up sprite focus, a 10% increased archaeology experience. So if you want to speed up your uh, archaeology experience by 10%, uh, follow the light to whichever spot it goes, and you will speed up uh, your experience. Uh, Alright, so if you want to speed it up even more, uh, you can buy materials on Grand Exchange, the way I did, and deposit it in the box. Uh, uh, if you're uh, if you're trying to earn money in game, then you can save the artifacts for now, and you can uh, you can sell the gravel uh, for 106 coins, uh, and you can sell the artifacts. The uh, Zerosian insignia right now is. 2,658 GP, uh, and you see how fast I gathered that. So uh, uh, it will take uh, it will take longer to raise your archaeology level if you use, uh, or if you're only doing it for cash. Your uh, your archaeology level will raise slower uh, because restoring the artifacts gives you experience uh, and. Actually, the further you level, uh, the higher artifacts give you a lot more experience, so you can you can train even faster. Uh, but uh, there are a lot of people buying the uh, buying the gravel and buying the like uh, I showed you this already. Uh, uh, the iron is one thousand six hundred and eighty-four each. Uh, the is 2658, so you can you can earn a lot of cash and really make your bank uh, if you want to sell the materials and gravel on Grand Exchange. Uh, you know, then you'll take the slower route skilling. Uh, however, uh, in order to progress in the guild and get uh, and get the achievements and. Uh, some of the perks from the, the that shop, uh, from the condos, uh, you need to restore the artifacts for the experience, and then, uh, and then give them to the archaeology shop, uh, and then the our, uh, archaeology uh, shop will give you the condos and use the condos to buy the uh, uh, to buy the perks. Uh, the, uh, and then another thing. Uh, I made the mistake on my uh, first account is uh, I was trying to complete archaeology sets 
and oh, yeah, I noticed that I had duplicates of some of the artifacts, so I was uh, I was just dropping some of the, du the duplicates, and I later found out that I can donate individual extras to the museum, uh, and I still get some quotes from it. I get experience from from building those, so. Um, Make sure you keep your duplicate artifacts uh, that are not uh, that you don't, even the extras that don't fit neatly into a, to a set because you can sell the extras later to the museum uh, even though it's at a discount but you get experience for, for restoring them and you get, clone, uh, you get half the photos for half instead of getting the full value from part of a set you'll still get some some for uh, for donating the miscellaneous to the Iraq Museum, so uh, make sure you keep the extras as well. Um, right, uh, if you look, my inventory is almost full. Uh, most of my inventory is gravel. Alright, so if I click on full archaeological soil box, alright, and then now I have 15 soil in the box, and most of my inventory is available. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, for now, uh, for your fir first um, getting started, uh, you'll have to fill your soil box. Uh, after you qualify for the auto screener, and then you will not need the soil box anymore. Uh, if you have the archaeology, uh, the, the requirements from archaeology and from inventing. Uh, if you don't have the inventing qualifications yet, well, then I guess you have to keep using the, uh, the soil box or, or drop the soil or sell the soil or save the soil and use the auto screener. Uh, however you want to do that, uh, you can decide. Um, a lot of new players uh, getting gold points uh, poses a challenge. Uh, new players just starting the game, uh, you can see I, I still have uh, no quests. Uh, I think I did bar crawl or something, or uh, I, I did something to get uh, one. Uh, I don't really know what it, what it, what it is. Um, let's see. Uh, bar crawl. I did the bar crawl. I have that video earlier in this video series. Uh, I did that, uh, I believe, right after the uh, right after the agility, uh, right after the first agility one, uh, agility in one part. Yeah, I did. So, uh, you know, so that, I said, but I have no quests done. So. Uh, and I was able to start archaeology immediately. Uh, so I, I do not need any of these other skills to do archaeology. Uh, unlike Dungeoneering, where um, uh, we saw some boss fights, if you look at that video, it was a little bit annoying. But, uh, you know, the first Slayer task did it was uh, quite annoying that uh, the combat levels were mismatched. Uh, so s some skills, like also like the mining, uh, I needed to upgrade my smithing so I can get the, the better mining box to hold the doors. So, but archaeology, you don't need any of the other skills. You can you can start archaeology, and um, I can immediately take all of these materials, home teleport, wear out, run the gen exchange, sell all of the, uh, the, the materials, build up my, my coins, uh, okay. use, the, use the book, teleport back to the guild, click the map, come back here, repeat the process. Uh, I can build up uh, my coins very quickly like that. Uh, I will 
I'll have a uh, I'll have a growing number of damaged artifacts in my bank that uh, I can deposit there. That's fine. Uh, but uh, uh, I uh, I can still make a lot of money this way. Um, I can still gain, gain experience slowly. So, uh, so I just got one dagger. It's right here. Uh, I'm gonna stay at the spot until uh, I get uh, some more. Or fill, until I fill up my soil box. Actually, I'm gonna uh, I'll go back and um, I'll see if I can. Uh, I'll see if I can um, uh, restore these and turn them in and uh, and show you how I do the. Uh, Put the funnels um, uh, into my currency pouch. All right, one. Well, I'm gonna let me actually do. Um, eight. Uh, so I go fives. I can do all of these. Uh, tens in there in that time. Twelves. The Legendary remains and Semite sub Imperial steel. Let me. This my bag of deposit the materials. Uh, I'm gonna show you one way to speed up. Uh, you can use divination to speed up archaeology. Uh, you do not need it, but you can use it if you have it. All right, so I have these sign of the porter. All right, I'm gonna throw it all, but I'm gonna deposit. Uh, so I'm actually taking out 16. All right, I can fill up more if I want, but for now, 16. Let me move. The dagger up here. I'm gonna wear the sign of the porter, and then I'm gonna go back and excavate. All right, the sign of the porter to uh, sends ten items back to the bank. All right, so the next ten items that I got from here, not artifacts and not gravel, uh, but the ten. Items, uh, resources. Uh, <clears throat> the programming is actually smart enough to send the materials to the material storage location rather than to the bank. So uh, it's actually going to your to the correct place. So uh, so you can get out of having to run to the bank. Uh, uh, as often, uh, so that will extend the time uh, that you can spend at the archaeology spot. Um, if you look at, uh, I feel like I look at many of the higher level archaeology people. Uh, there, many of them are using the porters to do some back materials, and they're also using screeners. Uh, they're using screeners from inventing to screen the soil, and then uh, if it finds items in the soil, the porter will automatically send it. So uh, you could just stay at the uh, our archaeology spot until one of two things happen: either you run out of porters uh, and fill up uh, with uh, stuff, or you fill up with artifacts and uh, you don't want to destroy them. So then you go back to the bank to deposit the artifacts, grab more quarters, and come back. So uh, that's uh, uh, so that's the way to speed up uh, speed up archaeology with divination. Uh, and obviously, the scanner and using buttons. So. Uh,
that's about it. That's really all that I can, uh, the advice that I can give to somebody starting out in inventing. Uh, we're at 40 minutes in the video, but uh, I, uh, I want to try to excavate the, the debris in this video. So, uh, and also show you the, the next, uh, I forgot, see, my partner ran out. So I'm getting items now, so I'm going to wear, wear another partner and fill my soil box and go back to doing the remains. Right, there we go. All right, so these three were because I forgot to wear my next partner. That's why I got out Tyrone. So anyways, uh, I'm going to try to stay here until uh, this video until uh, I can show you the next spot. Uh, and at least, what will I do with uh, with the artifacts? Uh, this bar on top uh, is filling up. When when it fills all the way up, I got the next artifact. So uh, so I'm hoping to get that artifact before my soil bag fills up. But, We'll see what happens. Uh, I might get that level any moment now. Uh, level 10. Uh, and, uh, the fort degree requires level 10, but that gives me experience also. So that, that'll speed it up a little bit. I also want to pick up my uh, iron mattock from the shop, and that'll help a little bit. And, um, and after upgrade, uh, I'm turn now, I think, associates next. So when I try to upgrade to associate, and then some more perks. So, let's see. Achievements, archaeology, ah, uh, sorry, assistant. Uh, assistant, excavate damage. So I need to. Excavate 25 damaged artifacts. I need to restore 25 damaged artifacts. I have one, I need to restore it. It'll, it'll get me one. I need to complete unique uh, archaeology, archaeological collectors. All right, I will show you how to how to do the collection uh, before the conclusion of this video. Uh, the power holds, there's a storm now, so. Uh, so I may have to split this up. That's that. Washing the quarter. All right, I need to next one. All right, I continue excavating. All right. So, all right, I need to complete unique collections for archaeology. So I'll show you how to do that. Uh, mystery solver. I need to solve one of the mysteries. Uh, I can. Solve the mystery by clearing the fort debris and entering. All right, so that's that will automatically get me one mystery. Right. I'm ten now, so I'll be able to do that soon. Uh, all right, so one mystery, one collection. Uh, 25 artifacts, uh, uh, excavated, 25 restored, and 40 archaeology, and then I'll be able to upgrade to assistant. All right, so uh, so I'm gonna try to get to a meaningful spot in this video and. Um, Show you the basics uh, and uh, where the complete sets. Uh, where to turn them in, what the sets are. Uh, I need to, um, I need to make, make some space because I want to complete that second artifact before I head back. Right, so that now is too many uh, quarters to take out for 
for this time. Uh, some soil. After you remember, have some soil in the bank. Uh, I won't let me put the soil in the uh, the bags. The piles of my extra materials because I forgot to replenish the uh, porter one time. So let me try to complete my second artifact really quick. That auto screener makes it a lot easier. Uh, I recommend uh, for those of you who uh, want the power level uh, and get uh, 80 smithing, 80 crafting, 80 divination, and then get uh, and then get inventing up to uh, the, the screener. Uh, Must have passed it because I, I don't think it was at this high screener. Wait a minute. Oh, archaeology. I forget the hour and I talk more. Uh, screener. I'm gonna have to. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have to fill in some details at a, a future time on that screener. Uh, because my other account uh, already has all the levels for everything, so uh, I'm hoping to. I was hoping to be as complete as possible and as transparent as possible. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, so level 70. Right. Uh, so I don't see this winner in here, but um, Here we go. Device auto screener V1080. Uh, this device will automatically screen gathered uh, soil gathered from the excavation. So you need 67 inventing. Uh, so 67 inventing, and then you need 70 uh, archaeology, uh, and then uh, really does speed up. Uh, let me deposit the materials. All right, so all right, uh, you can restore uh, the dagger and the crossbow here, all right? Uh, you can also click on the dagger, and you can find out that you need two 
van Vanator daggers, one for the museum and one for uh, the Zerosian. All right, so here is the Zerosian one collection. Mantoner dagger, Mantoner light crossbow, Primus Alimentus standard, legendary blade is legendary square shield, Zeros effigy, Zerosian training dummy, Legatus Maximus figurine, and Solemn in Umbra painting. All right, and then if I turn in a complete set, uh, they will hold the pieces until uh, I complete the set, and then I will get rewarded uh, with 2,635 funnels in addition to the quotas I get for uh, for each piece. All right, that's for uh, at Malusia at the Archaeology Guild, also Zerosian One. It's by Verac West Bank, uh, by the anvil where, where I was doing smithing. So you look in the smithing video, you'll probably see the Zerosian walking right outside. Uh, I'm not sure if I noticed that in the video, but uh, she's there. Uh, Soren's there. You can turn in a second set there for uh, additional uh, reward. Uh, uh, the relics go to the monolith. All right, so uh, anyways, uh, you get 206 quadrant value for that, and so the we both give 206 uh, value for turning them in to a collection. Uh, so we all get 412 for turning two of them in to the museum and the two of them in to uh, Zeros. Uh, uh, and then <coughs> I had 305 experience for each one that I did. It's not 600 for this pair, so. All right, so if you look now, I'm level 11. All right, so uh, so if I click on the restore workbench, and I, I restore a Venator dagger, Venator dagger, uh, and then it will in three seconds it will show restored. Let's restore it. I got level. And then I click on the restore again, uh, restore the crossbow. All right. And then now I'm actually 13, so uh, that's what I'm saying earlier in the video that uh, that's actually a uh, faster experience if you restore artifacts. But, uh, if if you prefer the GP route, you can just deposit the artifacts in your bank. I can just deposit the damaged artifacts in my bank or, or, or the, uh, or the uh, fixed ones, either one. But I can deposit the damaged ones and then uh, sell the materials to Man Exchange, come back here, uh, excavate some more, go back, sell them, and repeat the process, build up my bank. Uh, and then, uh, then at some point later on, collect the individually collect the uh, materials, and then start restoring artifacts and build my uh, uh, build my uh, level with the uh, my opponents with the uh, archaeology guild and start getting some of the rewards because you can excavate faster with those rewards. Uh, some of the precision upgrades. All right, let me try to wrap up this video. Uh, uh, I'm going to use the option here in the Archaeology Journal, Teleport. I uh, mentioned that earlier uh, in the video. Uh, here I am in front of the Archaeology Guild. Alright, so I'm going to go over to the Auto Screener. screen 72. Why it says 72? I have 50 in here and I have an additional 22 here. So 50 plus the, in the box plus the 22 here I have 72. So it's going to go ahead and screen all 72 including the 50 in your box. 
So you don't have to worry about uh, an empty and that will do it for you. So that's con uh, convenient. So I'm going to wait the uh, 116 more seconds uh, so, you can, uh, so you can observe this. I'm also going to turn in the two artifacts that I just uh, restored. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to show you the um, a MATOG shop and then upgrade my MATOG. Uh, I'll show you the uh, inside of the first uh, the Alcari spot so you, you know where to go to complete your first set. Uh, and then I will also see if I if it will show you the other four uh, the entrances to the other four uh, archaeology camps uh, because there's there's Zerosian, there's Zamorakian, there's um, Ceridoman, Armadil, Armad uh, I think I'm mispronouncing that, Ar Armadillion, uh, please pronounce, uh, forgive my pronunciation, and then there's uh, Bandosian, so Right, please observe, uh, as I'm screening this out into, I'm getting additional supplies. Uh, it, uh, I am getting uh, archaeology experience also, but uh, I might question the value of sorting out the, sorting out the soil uh, in preference to just dropping it and or selling it on GE, uh, and then buying the extra materials, or, or just selling it and excavating the extra materials. Uh, but uh, I guess that's an opinion. Uh, you know, some some of you may like coming back and screening, so uh, have fun. That's a game, right? So deposit all. So that's the deposit box here. There's a, there's the workbench. That's where we uh, we did the uh, tutor tutoring um, at the beginning. We did that. Uh, so here is uh, 14 now, so I can do the next uh, next spot. So uh, I'll be doing that in a moment. Uh, I need to get my two uh, fixed items out. I'm gonna get out five quarters. Actually, um, yeah, I'm going to get out five. Uh, I may not need them. Uh, I'll show you why. Uh, it's a matter of interpretation. Uh, uh, decide what you need and whatever works best for you. And then uh, as a game, try to have fun uh, if possible. Uh, the hours of collecting. <laughs> uh, so archaeology collection. All right, so this was the Rosian one. All right, so I showed you this before. There's nine items. I went, I went through the items. I'm going to contribute all. All right, and I got 412 chronos for donating those two, just as I explained to you before. And then uh, I can get uh, for that, uh, you know, for the others each one plus I get the reward. When I get higher level, there's Rosian 2, 3, 4. There's also, as I explained to you, there's Zamorakian. Uh, the first one is nine pieces. The second one's nine. The third sets eight pieces. The fourth sets five pieces. Uh, Ceridome in one, uh, two, nine Ceridome in two, nine Ceridome in three, six pieces. Ceridome in four, seven pieces. Armadillion, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, our, the first one is nine, the second set is eight, and the third set is ten. Uh, Bendosian, first set is ten pieces, second set is eight pieces, third set is nine pieces. All right, and that's, uh, you, I believe you need something like 119, 119 or something like that to, to do, complete all the sets. It's kind of, kind of ridiculous, but... Uh, uh, it is what it is. So, uh, anyways, that's that, that's where you turn them in. Uh, and then let me see now. 
All right, now it lets me add them to currency pouch. And now what I like to do is I like to go to the settings and I like to put the crown notes Okay, that's one of my favorites. Um, all right, so uh, I, I close that. And, uh, as I'm adding chronos, it will now show up. Uh, what I meant. All right, so if you open, uh, you click on the bond icon at the bottom, uh, it will show me how many chronos I have because I just set that up. All right, so. All right, back into the archaeology build. Uh, all right, I, I can't get anything at the shop right now uh, because I need to upgrade. All right, so I'm not going to buy an archaeology teleport so I can teleport for free with the book. That's, that's kind of a useless uh, uh, system. Uh, so I need to upgrade to assistant, so I need to save my phone notes so I can buy these. Alright, let's... This is, uh, this is why I suggested that we try to, uh, we try to get to at least to assistant or associate before we start making money with the skull, because you can get a precision upgrade, a material storage upgrade, and then uh, you can get the blueprint and uh, uh, another precision upgrade, another material storage upgrade, uh, soil box upgrade, and the archaeologist uh, outfit, which increases experience. Uh, so I would recommend trying to get to associate as fast as you can. Uh, if you really need the money, then uh, you know, it, I guess um, you know, do what you need to do, right? Uh, it's, it's your account. It's, it's your time, have fun, uh, or try to, uh, <laughs> it's possible. Uh, so I'm going to trade, uh, and I'm going to buy the iron matog. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and buy the steel, uh, one mithril, one adamant, and one one. All right. And I'm going to put the iron matog on my table. All right. It will not let me add the uh, steel because I need 20 first, but I will bank these for it so I have them ready. Uh, I'm going to go upstairs really quick uh, so I can show you. Occasionally you will get uh, you will get an archaeology tomb. All right. Uh, and then it says, oh, you can study that upstairs at the uh, archaeology. So if you click on study desk, all right, and then uh, okay, it says I don't have any tombs, but if you got an archaeology tomb uh, in the uh, in while you're mining, um, mining, um, excavating, then you can turn them in here. So slightly over an hour. Let me let me try to show you quickly the spots. Uh, all right, so we were just here. Shortcut K. Uh, carried at, that's where we just were. Uh, I mean, the other spots, uh, here's I. So if I, so I, I can click on I. I mean, click on Inferno Source, it'll tell you shortcut I. Or I can press I on the keyboard. So on the keyboard, I will press I. I and, alright, so it's, it's actually making me have. Uh, a level of all right, so I, I it's making me have level before I part there, so I won't be able to show it to you in this video. Uh, so I'm just going to go back to the carried at, uh, and I'm going to show you the inside. I'm putting in my steel mithril. Adam and, and Rune Matt talk uh, for a little time. I have my science reporter, archaeology journal, and my now empty soil box, which uh, I screen all of that stuff. So uh, I have my level 14 archaeology from excavating these. Uh, so I'm going to now go to the fourth degree. Let me scan out. 
Uh, I teleported in up here. I ran down here and here where it says clear fork debris. I zoomed the camera around, uh, pan the camera around. Uh, you can do it with the arrows also on the keyboard uh, or at the mouse. And I clicked on clear fork debris. All right, so mystery uncovered breaking the seal. That's why I've discovered a mystery. So let me see here. It, it, it didn't mark it off in the achievements. So solve the mystery. So I, I would like to see about solving that uh, before I complete the video. Uh, I've excavated two, two artifacts and I've restored them. Uh, I've also begun uh, oh, let me where a order right because it's getting supplies so I'm going to wear a quarter. All right um, the archaeology collection uh, you need to collect the other uh, artifacts for that collection and turn them in at the guild. Uh, the one in front of the guild uh, where you, I showed you where you turn them in. Uh, when, you, uh, when you fill up one uh, one collection then this one's done. Archaeology 40, you just continue um, excavating and, re, uh, and if possible uh, restoring artifacts and you get the 40. Um, when you ex after you get excavate 25 and restore 25, and then uh, you'll have those two done. Uh, so that's that's these three. The intern we finished in the tutorial. Uh, so then the mystery I'm trying to figure out how to do. Uh, when I when you start clearing the fort, you I discover the mystery. So I, I think I need to uh, I think I need to speak to the guy. Uh, to complete that, so uh, we'll verify that. Uh, I will show you where the remaining parts are for the first collection, and then I will conclude this video. I'm already over an hour. I was, um, I was, as I said at the beginning of the video, I was hoping this would be under an hour, but. Um, as I said, with Runescape, things take a lot longer than what uh, we hope. So uh, that's the case with this. Is it will, um, uh, I was hoping to get the 30, but uh, I don't believe that's going to be possible in, uh, in an hour. Uh, I might need two or three or four more hours. Uh, some of these skills in my previous videos had the 2x experience. Uh, they did not do 2x on. Uh, they did not do 2x on archaeology during the during the 2x event. So I I would not have been able to do this on that video. But um, and um, archaeology is not qualified for bonus experience from treasure hunter. Uh, until the race parade ends on the 30th of September. So, uh, so I have to train this at the slowest speed. Uh, however, I am uh, we we another sign of the quarter. Clear for it to be. I am trying to speed it up as much as possible, with, with, for example, with pointers, uh, alpha pointers and such.
although from the looks of this, um, I nearly have a level from this. Alright, so, uh, looks like I'm cleared. So, open this. Alright, so it asked me to talk to the guy now, so I'm going to talk to the guy now. That's why it gives me a Centurion CO damage. So I need the archaeology workbench, uh, some 30 inch iron and some zero insignia uh, and the workbench. Uh, so I need to go to the workbench here. Alright, so here we are. Uh, let me close that, let that open. Centurion uh, Steel Restore. Right, deposit any extra materials, I'll put uh, any extra items, uh, soils in my box, and then I got the 16 uh, new items, but I, I still have some things I can do. Alright, so inspect to right, mysteries. So I held up, it says I, I held up the seal. So I just having that in my inventory, uh, let me enter. I also got to 18, so I can do cash of the reason why it opened now. And then if I, now if I open the achievements and I look at the system, the mystery solver is done. So I, I only need to get the 40 archeology, span uh, Excavate 25 artifacts, restore 25 artifacts, and we need to complete that first set. So let me uh, go ahead and proceed. Uh, if we head uh, straight south from the entrance. All right. So here is why I was saying that I, I'm not sure that we need the sign of the border uh, for this spot, but I, I will let you, the viewer, decide. Uh, so if you click on Uncover Ancient Gravel, all right, this is Zeros Effigy and Zeros Training Them. All right, so uh, I can collect what's right here. All right, so. Uh, again, the gravel goes in here. Uh, let me let it give me my. Uh, let me let it give me my first uh, items so I can show you. Um, my uh, after I got to around uh, level forty. And I got the uh, I got the higher level of Matak, and I got the assistant level. All of these parts became a lot faster, but um, and so I used uh, I used uh, the ones on on top, and I used these uh, at the entrance of the. My, the next two spots uh, to complete the first set 
uh, you can complete the first set numerous times. So I managed to uh, complete the first set. Uh, I think uh, I think I did a hundred times. I completed the first set, and I have a lot of funnels, and I have enough to buy everything. So. So I have enough saved up for even a gold master outfit. So uh, so you could do that. Uh, but then uh, some of the, the higher level research spots, uh, higher level archaeology spots, uh, the uh, artifacts give you much more experience. Uh, so I, some of the ones that are in the uh, 80s and 90s in that area, like 10,000 experience per artifact, so uh, or more. So uh, so maybe uh, maybe have more experience camping the, the higher uh, higher. Uh, Artifacts, but then you'll get a faster rate of. You might get a faster rate of coin notes on the lower. Um, you know, you, somebody has to time that to verify it. Maybe I completed a hundred sets of these to, to get that um, to get the achievements done and out of the way. So, all right. So I see that now. I have. Uh, if you see what I got, I got these gravels. I got some uh, some items. And I got these pylon batteries. So I'm going to click on fill the soil box. All right. Uh, and then uh, for these items, I'm going to click on deposit materials cart. All right, and then I can go back. Uh, the sprite is here. So I'm going to go here. All right. And then I'll continue. So it's debatable whether you should use the quarter or whether you should just deposit them here. Uh, all right, so uh, pick what works for you. Uh, uh, some will say it's wasteful to use it because the deposit is right here. Um, yeah, so it's up to you. Um, showing you multiple ways to, to do it. Uh, the batteries. I, there are several of these shadow anchors throughout the uh, throughout the area. Uh, I forgot how many I did. I believe there were eight. Yeah, I believe there are eight of those. There's one here. Uh, so there's uh, several others. Uh, you know, if you run down there, in the back, there's one here. All right, so, uh, yeah, so after you charge all of the shadow anchors, you need 10 for each, so you need to collect uh, 80 of these. Right, so after you've charged all of, all of the shadow anchors, and then you can charge pylon. All right, and then uh, when you're charging the pylon, uh, you will get experience for each one of these you put in. So that is another reason why I did uh, 100 sets of, of uh, the zero z one uh, I was collecting uh, Pylon batteries and using uh, after I got the 80 for the eight anchors. I think there's eight. Uh, but after I did all the, I, I investigated the whole area and made sure I got them all. And, uh, there was a uh, achievement, uh, you got them all looked at. So after that was done, and then uh, I started putting them in here and I was actually getting a pretty decent rate of experience, so uh, 
Plenty is Dick Sight and Colonel Sturge, Large Bird Sturge, Gold Wound, Earth and Glass, Deal Map Type, Large Art. So I'm gonna, uh, all right, let me, let me deposit my stuff and show you how to complete the first set. Uh, I think um, most of you should, if you're watching the whole video, you have a, a handle on this. The first two of Zerosian 1 were on top that before you came in. The next two are here. The next three pieces, the next three pieces are here. All right, so this requires level 12. All right, so uh, as you can see, Primus Elemental Standard, uh, Legionary Gladius, and Legionary Square Shield. So the next three pieces are here. All right, three pieces. All right, and then the last two pieces, uh, if you head over, uh, you continue south. Uh, and then inside here, this one requires level 25. So you need at least 25 to, to start that. And then once you get level 25, uh, you can get the last two pieces here and then um, the uh, a non-player character, the archaeologist can keep you company. That's funny. Uh, anyways, so the last two pieces are here, so it's you know, two on top, and then you know, two when you come in, three on the, the side, and then the last two, so that's two, two, three, and two, so then you have um, nine nine pieces you know and then um, then you complete the achievements uh, you restore nine and then you complete the uh, collection uh, make sure you make sure you complete the second collection for the uh, uh, Zara guy So here's uh, Zeros, uh, and then uh, archaeology. Right click on him, an archaeology collection. And Zeros, one, two, three, four. All right, so uh, that's it. So I'm gonna end the video now, uh, unless. Yeah, I'm gonna end this video now. Uh, it's already running an hour and 24 minutes, so um, uh, there should be enough to get you. Uh, just keep doing the uh, keep doing the uh, Zerodian, uh till you finish up the two collections. Some of the uh, some of those nine pieces will have a third place to turn in, so just uh, inspect them and look at the info. Uh, it will tell you uh, where you need to go. Uh, just try to uh, make sure every, uh, as you're doing that, not everybody gets it. And then uh, after you give all of the pieces to the sets where they need to be, uh, and then you'll have a lot of extra pieces. So the extra pieces here uh, donate all. 
Uh, and then you'll get, uh, you'll get an achievement for that. You'll get credits for that as well. Uh, and this is here by the um, workbench. All right, so uh, that should be it. I can't think of anything else to. Uh, I cannot think of anything else to add for an introductory video. I uh, hope you found it helpful. I'll see you in the next video.